Welcome back to the lab folks. So today I've got a little mailbag video for you with a couple of unboxings. I got some stuff in before the mail strike and one of uh, AliExpress's transportation partners here actually forwarded some of the stuff via courier. So I got a couple of packages from them rather than waiting for the mail strike to come to an end. Okay, so let's get let's get started with this. Uh, we've got some smaller parcels here with uh, some interesting stuff in them. This is a kit I got. It's, a, it's an interesting little kit. It's a 555 function generator. And it does some pretty interesting things with the circuitry. So this, this here is just your regular 555 stuff going on over here. But uh, this, uh, this series of, of resistors and capacitors here going up to this transistor, this, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So we're going to, we're going to have a look at that and uh, see how we can maybe utilize some of that in, in the future for other things. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm going to do a little video on that probably shortly, but it is a pretty interesting little circuit. So that should be good. Okay, this I got from Amazon. This is a real Isesimo. Isesimo? Isesimo. They no longer look like that. This is the ones that the knockoffs I got from AliExpress. So you can tell that uh, they look like the old style but the new style is different and something i noticed was that i'm not made in china <laughs> i i guess they're fully aware of the fact that they're copied um but this little kit here comes in at about 15 dollars us and you get two you get two of these uh isosomos. you get a little mini one and you get the big one now, the, the shaping of it is very, very much the same. I don't know what this little hook here is for, but I, I guess I can figure that out at some point. And the design is very much the same. It, the material on this is much, uh, it's much softer and springier. So this is, this is more likely to bend than this one. But I think that this one uh, won't bend permanently as much as this one will. Now, I haven't bent either of them yet. But I just get the impression that this one here is a, is a better spring steel than this one here. But like I said, I mean, we got, uh, we got two of these for five bucks and you got two of these for 15 bucks. I think this is still worthwhile having around. That's what they look like now. The real, the genuine item is a blue. It's not a white and black anymore. Right, these are just inline female banana connectors to make uh, just extensions for the bench. Banana cable extensions. I, th I think I have uh, another package in here of red ones. I'm pretty sure. Ah, okay. This, this thing here, I got this thing for a, a kind of a lark. I think it was only a couple of, a few bucks. It, it wasn't that expensive. But um, I, I actually ordered this uh, before Imsai Guy. He did a video on this the other day. We can run through this at some point. Uh, probably the next time I test a meter or something like this, I'll pull this out and then we'll test this at the same time too. But I think this is a, a handy thing to have about just for quickly checking something. Okay, I think these are the red ones of those female banana plugs. Yeah, these are just the red ones. Yeah, this is a this is a cable. It's supposed to be a nice silicone cable, and it is. And oh, whoa, it's really, really nice. You know what I might use this for? Maybe I will use it for my lab. I'm in my mini lab where I have that little soldering iron. I don't know if you saw back a, a couple of um, mailbag videos ago. I got that little cheap soldering iron, which I've been finding very handy. I and mean, the thing heats up quickly. It's very, uh, very small and compact. Stays out of the way. But this would be perfect cable for that. This this is just oh, this is cable porn. These are just ferrules. So these are uh, these are number sixteen, I believe, and these are number fourteen in that size range. So into my collection of ferrules they go. This is silicone wire, just hook up wire. I find that the PVC coated wire is, is not really that 
great for tight places. And if you've been looking at some of my builds lately, I tend to build uh, in tight spaces. So this, this stuff is uh, not as nice as that uh, USB cord, but <laughs> this is pretty nice stuff. Okay, well that's it just for the regular mailbag items. So I got a couple of things sent to me by Fernisi. And that's what I'm gonna unbox for you today. This is one of them. And this is the portable DC power supply. So, okay, they gave me uh, a uh, USB cable for it. This one feels as good as that one. And a power adapter. And that comes off, and look at that. You got a US plug inside, okay. So I'm not gonna get into the functionality of this today. I'm just going to discuss with you uh, what it looks like and open it up. That way when I come to test it, when we do the video on it, I won't have to do any unboxing or any silly stuff like that. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so it looks like it just comes by itself with a manual, which is something I'm gonna to have to read. Well, anything else in there? No. Oh yeah, there's some leads in here. Okay. So it comes with... Oh, these are nice leads. Ooh, I wish I wish they had feel-a-vision here. But uh, yeah, like... Very, very nice. Very, very... Very, very supple. You get a black and a red. And this here is a USB. Very nice. Display... I'll leave that on there for now. Lift it up, yeah, just lift it up. And you got your outputs here. You got your control here, basic control, and some of your other controls up here. And you've got uh, PD and DC power switch over there. Look for video on this coming up in the near future. I'm just gonna have to study the manual. And then I'll show you all the uh, quirks and features. Okay, here's the other item from Fernisi. This is a Fernisi 2C53T, which is an update to their 2C23T. And it's supposed to be a 50 megahertz dual channel oscilloscope multimeter and function generator. So this could be a real uh, piece of competition for the Zewi. And I think uh, some other manufacturers have these triple instruments as well. So let's see what comes in the box here. That's a nice case, very nice. Hard shell case. Okay, oh, it really is a nice case too. It's got this protective uh, flap for the meter. And let's see what we got here. We got uh, DMM probes. Uh, they, they are a little bit above average. Nothing to my right, right home about there, but uh, they're okay. We have BNC to alligator clip. I guess that's for the function generator. And a couple of probes. I wonder what frequency these are. Here. Yeah, these are the standard 6100s here. So they'll be uh, 100 megahertz probes. Plenty enough for a 50 megahertz oscilloscope and a little USB charging cable. Okay, we've got a manual. That'll be worth digging into. The instrument itself. Okay. Very nice. Does it come with enough charge to turn it on? Yes, it does. So we'll do a video on this. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.